What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kidd coming at you with another Destiny video and today we are live. It's the Age of Triumph. It is here and what we're going to do is we're going to go around the tower and we're going to see what god roll vendor gear there is. We're not going to worry about armor but we are going to look for god roll weapons and remember these weapons are only going to last for a week. So let's go ahead and we're going to visit all the vendors and see what really sticks out. Alright, so here we are in the tower, and we've definitely got to go ahead and check out these vendors. We're going to start off on New Monarchy, and then we're going to go to the Crucible Quartermaster, and then over there to the Vanguard and the Dead Orbit and Future War Cult. So we're going to see what weapons are here. Now it looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and talk to the speaker to start my quest. I'll make sure to do that. But first up, we've got Not Triple Wreck <laughs> standing over here for New Monarchy. And let's take a look at his weapons right here. So starting off, we've got the assembly. Uh-oh, it looks like it has counterbalance too. So let's take a look. It does indeed have counterbalance and perfect balance. So that's not that bad for this weapon. That's about as good as it's going to get on this particular weapon. I don't love the stats on it, but this is as good as it's going to get. If you ever wanted to try this particular weapon out, go ahead and grab this. But this is only the first weapon. I mean, there is no way that's going to be the god tier weapon at all. Next up, we've got a hand cannon, the ill will, and or free will, not ill will, <laughs> free will. There's a little bit lower impact than the ill will. So we've got range finder, I mean pass, just forget this one, pass. Let's move on to the next, not even going to waste our time there on that one. Just the stats are so bad. The impeacher, actually that's pretty solid stats range finder range is always good on sidearms so you could have hand loaded plus this or zen moment for extra stability this one's not bad not terrible at all though you might already have a sidearm that you like and watch out because i'm not 100 percent sold that sidearms are still going to be around after this update moving on next though what do we have next we've got a shotgun the bad council yikes yeah all right, again, yet again, just pass on this. The stats, not what you want. If you've got this fast-firing, low-impact type of shotgun, you want it to have full auto, and it's going to be a PvE roll. Definitely not a PvP roll. Pass on that one. And how about this sniper? Again, it's a low-impact sniper, though, so watch out. So, yeah, you're not going to want this thing. Some people do like the low-impact snipers in PvP, but in PvE, definitely high-impact all the way because impact relates to your damage. So why lower your damage? You could get a triple tap with a better impact on it. That would just serve you so much better if you just had something that had higher impact on it. I don't know. I would go ahead and pass on this one. And let's go ahead and move on finally to our machine gun, the first citizen. So what do we have here? Nothing that is going to make this thing god tier. So no. So, okay. If there was anything I was potentially going to buy from this, maybe it would be the assembly. I don't love the base stats of this auto rifle, but this is the only one from New Monarchy that is worth buying at all this week, and I'm lukewarm at best on it. Ah, look at that. Let's see how these weapons are. Is this going to be anything decent at all? Just throwing this in there. And we got a Bone Crusher. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've started to enjoy this. It, look at that. It came at 400 light. 400 light from a faction package. Take a look at that. We didn't know about that. Feeding Frenzy, hand laid stock, range finder. Hmm. I'm going to hold on to this for just a moment. I don't want to think about and potentially delete this on the spot. Let's go ahead and delete this ghost shell though. That was pretty awesome. That was unexpected. 400 light from faction packages. That is officially confirmed. And we're going to visit the Crucible Quartermaster. And remember, he has brand new bounties right over... Oh, wow, there is a lot of them. Holy crap. Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's pick these things up. Remember, you can get Trials of Osiris gear from these. You can get Iron Banner gear from these. So they're definitely worth picking up. I'll have to get that last one. And let's start off by looking at these things. So, all right, Zero Day Dilemma. Counterbalance, not bad. And any... Mm, Spray and play, I guess, is okay. This is okay, not god tier. Okay, but not god tier. There are a lot of weapons here, so let's take a look at these. So, I'm not a big fan of the party favor. I don't like it because that magazine size is way too low. 
Now you do have a lot of stability here, so that's a really nice thing, but that's basically all this has going for it. Sorry, but I'm going to have to pass, though. Having perfect balance is way better than brace frame, especially whenever this has a magazine size this low. Let's go ahead and move on to the next weapon. We've got the Hero Formula, a scout rifle, very fast rate of fire, and what do we have on this? Reactive reload, not bad. A little bit more, that would be good for the stability to go up like that whenever you've got a rate of fire like that. I kind of do like that. This one, not too shabby. You can have stability for days with this, with Zen Moment. Not bad. This one isn't bad. This one is at least relatively intriguing to me. And you can get some range up here. Yeah, this one's not that bad. I might go with... I don't know. Probably not this. I don't like whenever you have heavy scopes or stuff like that. Anything that's going to slow down your weapon handling. But that one's not too shabby. Taking a look at the palindrome. Oh man, the last vendor palindrome was god tier. The, boy, this isn't that bad. This isn't that bad either. Outlaw plus reactive reload, and rifle barrel, um, yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness, are you kidding, the vendor is selling yet another god-tiered palindrome, this one is really nice, jeez, I might even pick this one up, I might pick this one up and swap it with the one that we already got from the vendor, this one is pretty solid, pretty good, our first official god-tier weapon this week, the palindrome, yet again, oh man, as far as fusion rifles, we've got each new day, and you do have stability. That's a really good thing. That is definitely what you want on this. Life support, I guess that could be interesting, but life support doesn't proc enough in my personal opinion. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I know it hurts the range, but more stability is always better on a fusion rifle in my opinion. I'm just not exactly sure how counterbalance truly, truly affects fusion rifle spread. Not 100% sure how that ends up working. For our, okay, yeah, shotgun, curtain call, none of these shotguns are any good. You're, forget it. Just pass, pass, pass. You don't need this thing. Not enough impact, and yeah, just pass. Move on to the next thing. Anton's rule. This sidearm, how is this digging? So we've got some extra range. We have hidden hand. Not bad. I don't love these first perks, though. Yeah, I'm not digging this one that much. Probably like the new monarchy one just a little bit better compared to this one. So... If you had to pick one, we're going New Monarchy over this right now. Move on to the next weapon. We've got the Event Horizon. Now, this is the impact you like. This is big time impact. And you've got Hidden Hand. And you've got Explosive Rounds. And Snapshot, if you want to go ahead and take this into PvP. Underdog. Ah, it lost me just a little bit here on these first perks. And the Scope, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, with a Sniper Rifle, Scope, really important. This one is not bad. This is one of those ones that's just so, so close. We were so perfect right up in here. And then we just kind of fell apart a little bit towards the end, unfortunately. Moving on to the next one. What do we have up next? We've got the Chaotic Neutral. So I'm not a huge fan of these different type of machine guns that they've got in here. Counterbalance, that's not too bad. Perfect balance, not bad. But I mean, you've got your own heavy machine gun that you love. Let's put it this way. You're not going to buy this one. You're not going to want to buy that one. And moving on to the rocket launcher. Holy crap, you've got blast radius for days. Grenades and horseshoes. Do we have anything to increase velocity, though? We, we do a little bit. So we could increase the velocity at the cost of that blast radius. This one's okay. I don't know if I would pick it up because I do have some better rocket launchers already. Though that blast radius is really nice. And the velocity, it's not, I mean, it's bad. It's, <laughs> I was going to say, it's not the worst thing in the world. And it's not, but it's not the best either. You've probably got a better rocket launcher already for PvP. So that's going to be the Crucible Quartermaster. Remember, grab these bounties if you're going into the Crucible. Okay, so we went from the Crucible Quartermaster to the Vanguard Quartermaster. Let's see what this guy has. Again, it's going to be a lot of weapons to go through. Starting off with the Continental. And we do have Persistence. And perfect balance. That's going to be a really nice combo together. You could turn this into a focus fire weapon. Or close. I don't really like that as much. This one's not bad. I personally like my Extremophile. The one that I did a video on a little while ago. That has counterbalance plus rodeo. It's the same archetype. Nearly the same gun exactly. I mean it's got basically the same model. I like that one a little bit better. This one isn't too shabby though. You are going to hit your shots with your perfect balance and persistence. So that's pretty cool. Not super god tier though. The Parthian shot. Some people have been using this. 
low, low fire rate, high impact for this. And we've got Outlaw, while wow, Brace Frame, and Range Finder. Hmm, this one's not bad. This one's not bad. If you're a big fan of this style of pulse rifle, this might not be that bad. Your magazine size is going to be low, but unlike the Clever Dragon, at least this thing's going to hit like a truck whenever you hit. Whereas the Clever Dragon, you're just tickling and you still have no ammo in the magazine. So this one's not too bad. This one's not bad at all. Something to keep your eye on, but you've only got a week to decide if you want to go ahead and buy it or not. Angel's Advocate. Remember, this is the Mita multi-tool and geez, just like the Mita. Here we go. Getting some third eye here, and we've got stability. You definitely want stability, but I don't like the idea of lowering a 14 magazine size. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pass on this one. I think you could get a better roll than this one. I wouldn't waste my money on that, even though the archetype is good. How dare you? Yeah, you know this one's going to be bad already. It's got no range. Hand cannons still need range. Just forget it. Move on to the next one. We've got yet another fusion rifle. This one is faster charging though, lower impact, and it is not going to do it. Pass, pass, pass. Move on to the next one. What do we have? Our sidearm, the Teacup Tempest. And again, we've got range. Good, always good on sidearms. Extra stability if you want it, even more stability. Look, I'm just not in the mood for buying sidearms. I'm just not. I don't think they're gonna be as viable. I don't think you're going to see them as much. And if you do, you've already got one that you absolutely love. So I'm not really going for those in the shotguns. Shotguns and the uh, sidearms that we've got. Oh my goodness. They're just nothing. So at least this one is full auto. At least this one is full auto in perfect balance. So this one is a head up over the last two that we looked at. So you could put on Army of One. You could put this on and have some success in PvE. You really could. This one isn't that bad in PvE. In fact, it's like your baby mini fourth horseman. This one isn't that bad, but it's extremely situational. Just keep that in mind. Very, very situational, but not the worst thing in the world. I was making fun of it a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but for PvE, you could definitely use this one. Let's go ahead and move on to our sniper rifle. Again, really low impact on the sniper. That's going to be almost an instant pass. Hidden hand, though, that's pretty nice. Perfect balance, which is probably good with the faster firing sniper rifles. Triple tap, you're really not going to need it, though mulligan, because I'm thinking of this as more of a PvP one. And Longview SLR-10, which is probably the most aim assist in any scope that we've got. So if you really like this impact style and fire rate of sniper rifles, this one might be up your alley. It's not that bad. Now, if it had snapshot here, it would be way better. It would be perfect god tier for this style of sniper rifle. But it doesn't. It's not that bad, though. We're going to move on to our Bone Crusher. We just grabbed a Bone Crusher. How does this one fare? Persistence. Oh, man, I really like Persistence. I really do. And extra stability, though. I don't want to lower my magazine size. But this, this wouldn't be too bad. A little bit better handling, for sure. Unflinching. Hip fire. This one's not that bad. This one's not that bad. I really am digging the Bone Crusher, especially in PvP. This is something that you might like to add to your arsenal. A little bit more impact too. Holy crap. How much can this thing hit for with extra impact? Yeah, it hits for a lot already. Hmm. That's not that bad. That one is not that bad. We're going to keep our eye on that one too. And then disassembly required. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't care that it has grenades and horseshoes, snapshot. Those are nice perks to go ahead and have in PvP. Javelin. Actually, this one's starting to, <laughs> this one's starting to look pretty good. And then it falls apart right here. Vacuum. Who cares? Army of One. Not really necessary for PvP. You're only going to get to use it basically once. And the barrels, Warhead Veneers, is not that bad. So this one's actually not the worst thing in the world either. I know. I get started. I start looking at the guns from this side. And then they always fall apart here toward the end perks. All right. Going to go ahead and pass on that. Is there anything to really buy here from the Vanguard Quartermaster? Maybe the Parthian shot. Maybe the Parthian shot. And this for PvE, the Razor. Maybe if you really like the style in Crucible, this one wouldn't be that bad. And maybe the Bone Crusher. Holy crap, those Quartermasters have so many guns to go through. Luckily, we've got two more. There's not a ton of guns for them. We are not going to pledge allegiance to you. Not just yet. And let's take a look at your guns, which we cannot buy. The Extremophile, uh-oh, coming in hard with Hidden Hand, liking that. But we don't gain any additional stability. And this one's just not going to cut it. Like I said, my one that has counterbalance and a rodeo, that one is amazing. 
It's a really, really good auto rifle, but not necessarily that version. Oh man, we're gonna have to delete past that every time, aren't we? So we've got the Keystone and it's a scout rifle, low fire rate, high impact, Firefly on it. Uh-oh, Firefly, why couldn't we have a little bit of stability on this thing? Why not give us just a little bit of stability? Even something like Zen Moment would have worked out well for this. Firefly on a scout rifle. You guys know you love your hung jewelries, don't you? Oh man, this one, this one would have been so close. If we could have just picked up a little bit of stability, man, that would have been amazing. Amazing. Even Zen Moment. Oh man, this one got so close. Next up, we've got our fusion rifle, Worlds to Come. And nope, 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 nope. Not adding any stability. We're going to pass on that and just move right along. Moving right along, last ditch. How is this shotgun looking? Full auto last ditch. Holy crap. Actually, so this one's not going to be that bad in PvE. It's really not. I know that you're not getting the crazy range that you might want to have in the Crucible, but for PvE, I like to have a hard-hitting full auto shotgun. I really do. I'm enjoying it. That's what I pretty much take around. So if you don't have one, pick one up. Pick up a full auto higher impact shotgun like this. It will definitely put in work even in the nightfall. So keep that in mind. This one's not too bad. Go ahead and pick that up if you don't have one. And moving on next, we've got another sniper. All these sniper rifles have no impact in them at all. But this one does have hidden hand. And you could get life support with it. High caliber rounds, lightweight, good scope. It has hidden hand. But I think we're going to just go ahead and have to pass on that one. And move on finally. I believe it's a rocket launcher. Yeah, this rocket launcher is just terrible. I don't care if it has grenades and horseshoes. I don't care if it has tripod and velocity. Look at these stats. This is a terrible gun. Pass, pass, pass. And finally, last but not least, is Lakshmi. Let's see what she's got for us. And of course, she's going to say, hey, come join the future war call, please, please, please. No, no, no. The whale. Let's take a look at this whale. It's got Firefly on it. It's got perfect balance, but it is not giving you range. So I guess if you want a fake Fatebringer, this is close. It's not perfect because it needs Outlaw to really be it. And you're also going to get the Fatebringer anyway. So we're going to have to say pass and move on to our next weapon. Sorry, that one's not going to cut it. The Waltz. So this is basically the Clever Dragon. But take a look at the magazine size that it has already. That is really good. Counterbalance, yes. Hammer Fort, oh, why couldn't we have had perfect balance here? Perfect balance plus counterbalance. Mate, you could actually use this thing and be close to your Clever Dragon. This just, ah, it's so close yet again. So many weapons are just so close, but the God Tears are few and far between this week. They are few and far between. The Scout Rifle, though, how is this looking? So we've got Hidden Hand. We've got Small Bore, which, eh, not a big fan of. But we do have, full, why couldn't we have more stability? If we're getting full auto on this thing, why not give us more stability? I don't think that Small Bore is really going to do it. I guess you could try it. If you really, really wanted this style of scout rifle in full auto, you could try this, though it's gonna lower your magazine size, which I'm not a big fan of, especially if you're firing in full auto. Hidden hand is really nice. Ah, yet again, so close, so close. All these guys are contenders, but God tiers, few and far between. Uh, the Wormwood, oh wait, the Wounded. That's what we just looked at, the Wormwood. Yeah, have you ever heard of the Wormwood, right? Reactive reload, good extra damage, but the rest of this stuff, no way. You've already got a Wormwood that you like and will use far better than this. So we're gonna pass on that one and we're gonna move on to our final one, our final rocket launcher with a blast radius for days and no velocity. Tracking, nice in PVE, not very nice in PVP. We do have Javelin, anything extra though? Anything extra for the velocity? A little bit there. No. So unfortunately with a rocket launcher in PvP, you're going to want grenades and horseshoes. Tracking really isn't going to cut it. So we're going to have to pass on this. So overall, the best weapon that we saw was the palindrome. Yet again, it was the palindrome. Holy crap. I think you could get away with buying the last ditch from Dead Orbit. You could buy a few things from the Vanguard Quartermaster, like that one Partheon shot. So those are the things that you could buy, but the palindrome is definitely your god tier weapon. Definitely your god tier weapon for this week. Let's see what they've got next week. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, 
your weapons, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag, where's the god tier?